Okay guys, another reloading video here. Starting another reloading project. What is that? How many people do you, many people do you know that case? Got the lemon case rip tool. The Lee. The usual Lee case trimmer. Can it catch brass filings? Two big bags of deep prime brass. Tire deep prime. A long time ago. This has been a project I've been needing to get took care of. Probably get ready to just finish it up. So it dies. Or beast or CBS. Full flame dies that for the 338 with mag. This was a used set. My brother got for free for doing some work. Get to my way. These dies are actually for my brother's gun. Case you just didn't know, Hornady. Case trim length, maximum length with the test out of information on the old 338 one meg. Still a standby for big game. Different bullet weights, anything from 185. Hard hitting 250 grain. Lemon. That was 108 grain jacketed buckle bonds. Pick this up point. Barns. Jacket around those 250 grain. 225. Into heavy 300 grain jacket hollow points. But you see more of these in the 338 Lapua Magnums. In the big 338s. Most guys stay between those ones when they're loading for the 338 Win Mag. Probably until today. Good old Lee. Appreciate clean prime. I like this primer priming tool. Use it a lot. And I use it with the Lee hand press. It really makes it easy to prime with. Feel the primers go in really good. Haven't got my little Lee primer or CBS primer yet. But I use this and it works really well for all what I prime for. Case prep. your products out really good. Get them all nice and clean. These have been already washed, tumbled, deprimed. Actually, these prime needs on that leaf press. It takes some muscle strength to do these big ones, but you can do it. The easiest way to do these ones is actually is doing a full size press, not the Lee hand press, but you can do it. This is going to be way too long to do a full reload on there. You have to pull your dies out all the time. This press has all been once fired. I think there's a 20 pieces in that box of twice fired brass. This brass has been shot by my dad, so it's all from that gun. So we know where it all came from.
don't take much, just quick, quick turns and flip it over. Hit this side really quick. With a case print machine, it'll work really well, but if you don't have the space for one, or you still have the budget for one, like a lot of guys do these days, maybe some female letters, this little tool is handy to have around. Keep a pair of dial calibers, clothes, digitals, if you're doing a rifle though. Make sure your calibers are reading inches, guys. These ones are <laughs> I haven't bumped into metric, so double check your uh, calibers. Use your own. These cases are pretty clean, guys. I washed them once, then deep primed them and washed them again, so they should be really clean. You can also chuck this thing in a drill gun if you want to be really efficient. Me, I'm just taking my time. So. In this case is barely even taking any. But if you get lucky, but again, some of this brass is mixed brass, so. Yeah, it's barely taking anything, so. That's a good thing. Do as much work, just hit it on the bird and chamfer it. Almost like a hot pitch turkey go. Oh, the pizza Remington brass. These calipers are due for no battery, guys. Probably being fussy. I don't know if he's a Remington brass.
definitely need to do for another battery, guys. It's glitching out. Yeah, I'm going to change this battery out. I don't trust it. It's way off. Being inconsistent. Okay, guys, after hitting it back with um, a battery, mm, deep burning it again. And run it back for the die and the trim the trimmer again. Two point four nine zero. These calipers aren't the best guys either they just keep over for eights. They like to jump around a lot sometimes. So you can once get to re zero them. You get in there, set the caliper soon. Guys, I'll talk to you in a little while. I'm going to go ahead and get this one's brass done. Back on a 338 trail. Had these 338 cases. Deep rammed. Resized with our CVS dies. Resized with a lead trimmer. And we went ahead and did the case next with the lemon case prep tool. And we are starting to prime them. That's two already primed, ready to go. We're loading them with CCI Magnum Large Rifle Primers 250s with the Wii Breach Lock Ram Prime. And I got that inside of the Wii Hand Press. I like this for priming, guys. I really do. Quick change setup, just screw it in and go. Works really good, really nice. You can feel the primer go in really nice. So, that's the way I use the prime with guys. Don't get one of those fancy hand primers. There is a sleeping puppy right there. He's about seven or ten years old. Bulldog. Yeah, that's a Lee hand press. I have it set up with the breech lock ram prime. That is the stud for the large primers, uh, large rifle magnum primers. That's 20 cases primed. 
and the CCI primers. Ready to go for a 3381 mag. Just never seen this press used for priming. I have another video on YouTube of it. Well, I think it was on a short. And I'm pretty sure I've included it in my 243 video. Using it to prime with. And I might have included in some other uh, videos also. You see, the way I figured it out is... Load your primer about there. Turn about that far. Slide your case on and just come in slow. But other than that, don't take much pressure. It's quite easy. You just gotta take your time, it's not quick, but it works. So we'll talk to you guys later. As always, two way strong. Love everyone. Either we'll catch you a three wing bunch, we'll catch you cooking, or maybe we'll catch you in the woods, or maybe we'll catch you at a show. Other than that, support local and stay safe.